You need an immigration lawyer, but how do you find the right one? Watch this video and find out. Hello everybody, my name is Jacob Sapochnik and I'm an immigration attorney based in San Diego, California. In this video, I wanted to answer one of the most common questions that I get asked, how to find the right immigration lawyer for you. Again, there's not a specific answer for that, but I'll share my perspective as how I see it and maybe kind of share with you some guidelines that will help you find the right immigration lawyer for you. So first of all, it's really important to um, start with a referral. If you have a close network of friends or family that worked already before, or you know, right now we, are, we all use Facebook, and there are many groups in different cities, I'm just recently I saw a post in a, in a local group here in San Diego, and people will post recommendations of a few attorneys, and some of them get more and more repeat uh, mentions, and just kind of make a list of those attorneys and set up an appointment. Most immigration attorneys are offering free consultations. And so it's important to choose some of those that are offering free consultations and you can actually go and see them and see whether you have a connection and you like to work with them. So that's one way is through referrals, either online or through trusted network of friends and family. The second thing is find out if this attorney is somebody who charges a flat rate or an hourly rate. Most immigration attorneys are working on a flat, flat rate basis, so they know that they charge X amount of money for a marriage case or for investor visa, for removal defense, and some are working on an hourly basis. It really depends on how you feel comfortable. Most attorneys are working on an hourly basis, but a lot of immigration attorneys are shifting to the flat fee model, which basically allows you to know upfront how much it's going to cost you to pay for the case, how much it's going to take time on, on their side to, to prepare the file. And so a flat fee consideration should be a good way for you to determine if that attorney is, is the right one for you. Another way is to, at the time of the consultation, whether it's free or paid, is to come prepared. So if you're gonna um, file for a marriage petition, I would research online, watch YouTube videos, go on websites, just understand what is involved in the process. So when you come to the consultation, you are informed to ask the right questions from your attorney. You can see if the person is familiar with, with, this, with the area of law, if he is giving you the right answers, if he is able to structure the plan. You always want to ask, tell me the plan. What is it going to take for you to file that case for me? What are the steps in the process? What are the hurdles? What's going to happen if it's not going to go the right way? So you want to be able to, to meet with somebody who can give you a full picture of what the process is going to look like so you feel more comfortable and informed to enter the process with that attorney. Another important factor is to find out if this attorney is a member of AILA, the American Immigration Lawyers Association, which controls most of the immigration bar. Now, not all immigration attorneys are part of, the, uh, part of AILA. It's not required to be part of AILA in order to practice immigration law, but it is important to find out if they are because the attorneys that are a member of AILA, they are <clears throat> investing time and money in education. So they are familiar with the recent changes in the law. And so if they are a member of the American Immigration Lawyers Association, there's a higher chance that they are up to speed with the current changes. And trust me, immigration law changes on a daily, daily, on a daily basis. Another factor is to inquire about uh, and, and, and check their reviews online. Most attorneys that are practicing immigration law should have a public profile on Google reviews, on Yelp, and on Avo, which are the three main sites that you should definitely check your attorneys on Google, Yelp, and Avo, and see if they have any <clears throat> good or bad reviews, and even if they have bad reviews, it's important to see like what is the reason behind it, but attorneys that have some reviews, it clearly states that they are open in the public, and that they are doing something right, and they are at least out there, and people know about them. If they have no reviews, it's a little bit of alarming and should be of concern to you. The other thing you want to check is to see where they are licensed and if they have any disciplinary actions with their, with their bar association. Some attorneys are licensed in one state, and they can practice immigration law in another state because it's a federal law, so it doesn't matter where they are, they can practice uh, uh, immigration law. But it, you should be able to find out if they have any disciplinary actions with their current bar association. And finally, I think the most important advice is that it's important to meet with a few attorneys before you make a decision. Because everybody has a different style, everybody has a different way of how they're doing things, and 
you ultimately will be the one working with them. So you want to know if you're comfortable with their attorney, if, if they are um, a good partner for you to spend the next six months or so of the process. That's the, really the bottom line. Once you cover all these other factors and you feel confident that they can do the job, at least see if you can be if you're able to work with them as a partner, because it's really kind of a partnership in a way where you have to provide your information, they have to do their job, and if you're not really clicking together, then it's not going to be a good relationship. Well, this is some of my you know, suggestions of how you should be uh, able to select a good immigration attorney. There are many, many good lawyers out there, and it's up to you to find the right one for you. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below, and hopefully you enjoy our videos, and we promise to make more for you. And I'll see you in our next video.